Well, it's that time of year and we're making another top five TVs of the year video. Last year we did a 2022 and I've really enjoyed making that video. So we're here back again, doing it for 2023, but we're also doing one for soundbar. So I'll make sure to have that linked down in the description if you want to check that out. Now, this list is a list of my personal handpicked favorites and it's not gonna be focused strictly on performance. Instead, I really wanna cover what makes each pick great for someone who is in the market for a new TV. And one last thing, if you do wanna watch the full videos for each of the products mentioned down below, I'll have that in the description. So without further ado, here are the top five TVs of 2023. QNED 85U from LG is a great mid to upper range TV. The reason I included this in my list is because there really wasn't anything I could find to not like about it other than maybe the viewing angles. Everything surprised me with this TV from the color, the contrast, the operating system was super smooth. There was multiple 2.1 ports for next gen gaming. And when reviewing this TV, I was honestly looking for something to gripe about, but I really couldn't find much. Is it an OLED? No, but at half the price, it looks really darn good. And yet it still comes with the magic remote that the OLEDs come with. So again, I just don't think that other than the viewing angles and maybe the fact that it's just a little heavy, there's not much to gripe about with this TV. The 86 QNED 85U is a great TV for someone who wants to get something of quality without stepping into the pricey OLED space. Now, LG made some serious progress with their gallery OLED line this year, and that's why I felt like we had to include them in the list. The G3 basically rivals the A95, and other than the color space being that the you know G3 is a little bit more on the warmer hue of colors, as far as color engine, it's really not a huge difference. I think they really closed the gap with this TV, considering the fact that it's ultra premium, yet you can still throw it in the lifestyle space to compete with things like the frame. There's virtually no bezel, it's relatively thin, and it just has an amazing design. It also comes with four HDMI 2.1 ports, which is very nice because they are a little bit difficult to get to, so you can pre-plug your HDMIs in, and then that way you know that every single cable you have will be able to carry that 120 hertz at 4K. Now this TV was actually featured in a video that we did on a customer setup that we installed on this beautiful black slat wall with a floating entertainment shelf paired with the JBL 1300X. This TV overall is just the ultimate TV for the ultimate system. And I did ask this customer for some feedback and they said they have never spent so much time in their living room. LG's G3 is the perfect TV for someone who's looking for the best quality with the best design as well. Now next on the list is Samsung's S95C, and this was their flagship QD OLED, built mainly to rival with the G3 and the A95. Now the reason I put this on the list is because I think it's crazy how fast Samsung was able to get on the OLED market, especially considering last year was their first year entering with the S95B. In 2023, they brought the heat with the S90C, which was basically just a repackaged version of that first OLED, and then they had the S95. C, which is even better, and it's just an amazing TV. The fact that it already comes in 55, 65, and 77. We're still waiting on the 83, but if you still want a Samsung 83 OLED, you can get the S90C. The color and brightness on this TV are very impressive, and the fact that you get a 144 hertz refresh rate is crazy. The TV itself is super thin, and the design overall is very crisp. I think this is one of those TVs that looks really good on or off the wall. Now the color engine is a little bit different than the Sony and the LG, but I think this is the perfect TV for someone who watches a variety of content. And speaking of enjoying content, if you guys are enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really does help me out.
LG's OLED C3 had to make it in their list. And why? Well, because it's the best bang for your buck OLED, in my opinion. This is the go-to OLED. It's brighter, it's faster, it's better than the C2. And it was honestly a pretty good toss up between this and the S90C, but I think that S95C kind of took the light away from the S90C this year. So that's why I wanted to throw the C3 in here because they did make really good improvements and I just wanted to share that. I also really appreciate the fact that it comes with four HDMI 2.1 ports, a feature that would normally be reserved for the premium like the G, but now we have it in the C and I think that's just kind of why you get that extra value. Overall, the C3 is a great option for most people who just want a really good quality OLED. QN90C is an upper end mini LED TV from Samsung. And it might be a little bit confusing because you have the S90C and the Q90C, but the Q90C is just that ultra, super bright, very high contrast mini LED TV that we all love to know. It was honestly a toss up again between this and the S90C on what I wanted to include. But the reason I included this is that the 90C actually surprised me when I was reviewing it. So kind of similar to that LG TV that I was talking about earlier. Outside of a very impressive picture, this TV handled viewing angles with ease, some of which was thanks to its anti-glare screen, but it just in general handled, you know, the fading when you get from side to side really, really well. And it also has four HDMI 2.1 ports, which, you know, matches the rest of the ultra premium TVs. Also something that I do really like about the 90C is that it comes in a large variety of sizes, 43, 50, 55, 65, 75, and even a massive 85 inch. So you really do have a lot of options with this and it is still gonna be a quality set across the board. The Q90C is a great option for, again, someone who's looking for something of high quality, but doesn't really want an OLED. So, that's everything for the top five. Let's run through some honorable mentions, stuff that I wish I could put on the list if I had more room. Starting off with the fact that you are shocked, and I know you're shocked watching this, that I didn't include any Sony TVs. And the reason? Well, they simply just dropped the ball. They made us wait almost a year for the L-series TV, and it seemed like they weren't even gonna release it at a point. So even though I really liked the A95K, the A95L, and the X95K, I just think that, you know, it was kind of annoying that everybody else was coming out with cool stuff and Sony just thought they could wait. So with that being said, I mean, maybe they'll make it into next year's video. I also got the chance to do a video on the 88Z2, which is an awesome TV, super great color, super awesome design, but not very practical for most customers. This is a very specialized TV, so I didn't think it was worth putting it on the list. The Skyworth XC9300 is a great budget OLED operating system not beautiful, picture, beautiful. So if you're looking for a budget option for OLED, I thought that was a pretty good find. And honestly, if I had one more spot that I really didn't know what I was gonna do with, it would go to that OLED 42 C2. Didn't get the chance to look at the C3 yet, but the C2 was really cool and using it as a desktop monitor and a gaming monitor was an amazing experience. Super sharp, super clear, and definitely a top choice in the monitor space. So yeah, I think that's just about it. I had a ton of fun putting this video together, not only to help you guys in your customer journey, but also as a reflection of, of all the cool products that I've gotten to review this year. If you guys are interested in any of these products, make sure you check all the links down in the description. And again, I'll have all the individual full video links down there as well. If you like this video, make sure you check out the top five soundbars as well. And let me know down in the comment section what your favorite TVs of 2023 were. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for all the support this year and we'll see you next year.